guys, what's up? My name is Crystal Bogorio, and today I'm here on the LT Cosmetics YouTube channel creating this fall inspired smoky eye look using the minimalist palette and a bunch of LC products. If you guys want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I want to do is hydrate my skin. During the summer, it dried it out so much. So the first thing I'm going to use is the LC Hydra Enhancer Mist. And I'm going to make sure I kind of spray a little tester around my face. This stuff smells so refreshing and it feels so nice on the skin. I'm going to let that kind of sit for a second. I get really dry kind of like around my cheek areas. So actually what I'm going to do a little bit more is I'm going to spritz the, uh, the Hydra Enhancer just on my Beauty Blender. I'm going to kind of put a little bit more hydration on my cheeks and a little bit under my eyes. Let's do the dry face oil. And I'm just going to kind of focus this on the tops of my cheeks and the middle of my forehead and nose. I'm going to put a little bit on my beauty blender. Focus that underneath my eyes. My eyes get really dry, so I want to make sure that they're super hydrated. A little bit goes a long way with this oil. You don't need too much. Focus that down the bottom. So since this is my face, I am going to be using my clean hands, but I am a makeup artist, so if you're doing this on somebody else, you know you're going to want to use your beauty blender or your tools, but for it to be in my face, I'm going to... Dab that all over. I'm going to focus this really like on my cheeks because I get these like dry spots that makes it really hard for a foundation to stick to. So I really want to make sure that I've got a nice base around these areas. The next thing we're going to jump into is the LC Pearl Radiance Primer. Primer is key. I know we all say how important primer is, but I don't think everyone really understands how important it is to keep your makeup lasting all day and give you like a really smooth canvas. Got a little bit of extra, so I'm going to grab. I'm going to put it on the tip of my beauty blender and focus that underneath my eyes as well. This is really lightweight. What I like about the LC products is that they don't feel heavy on your skin at all even the foundation, and it lasts all day. So now we are going to put our first layer of foundation. I jump back and forth between my foundation and my eyes. Um, I think makeup takes till the very end to look all complete when you have your mascara, your eyebrows on, and everything. So I might look a little ridiculous <laughs> during the middle of it, but I just want to even out my skin tone. So I'm going to use the LC Micro Silk Foundation, and this one is in Warm Ivory. What I really love about this foundation is the finish. It feels so nice on your skin and it starts off as a liquid and it dries as this like it's powdery but it's not like drying. It's very like hydrating Ooh. and it lasts all day. Like I don't need to put a lot of powder over it which is the best part. So I'm going to grab that on my beauty blender and I'm going to start on my cheeks because that's definitely where I need the most coverage. I like starting in certain parts of my face. I don't really like to put it all over and then blend it out. I feel like if you take it one step at a time, it really avoids missing any spots because sometimes you'll get your foundation when you get outside and you're like, I missed like this whole half of my cheek. Like what happened there? So I really just kind of take my time the problem with short hair now is it's impossible to not get that makeup line right around it, but you got to blend it into your hairline. And I always put a little bit on my ears because they get a little red and my ears are exposed. So put a little bit of foundation on there. All right, now that we've got a nice base on, 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump into eyes. I am gonna be using the LC Minimalist palette, and this palette is perfect for me because I don't wear a lot of like bright colors. I definitely stick with more of the neutrals with lashes and a bold lip. So this palette is perfect because it's literally everything you need to create a smoky eye, a neutral eye um, for all skin tones. And before I begin, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyes as a base. So this is the Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer in Neutral Medium. I'm gonna use my ring finger because that actually has the least amount of pressure. I really don't need a lot at all. Oh yeah, still too much. This is why I kind of like to jump from my face to my eyes because I always use concealer as an eyeshadow base. So if I get any underneath my eye, it's okay because I'm gonna use that to conceal anyways once we are all done with the eyeshadow. So to set all of that to make it a little bit easier for me to blend out all the colors, I'm gonna use this shade right here. So even though it's hot outside, I'm super inspired by fall. So we're gonna kind of do a beginner friendly fall uh, smoky eye. So the next shade I'm gonna use is this orange. It's really warm. I'm gonna actually mix these two. These two right here, because I don't wanna do, this is gonna be my transition shade. So I don't want it to be too dark. It's always easier to apply more than to try and take away too much product. So you can really just build this up. So to deepen my crease just a little bit, I am going to use this darker brown shade. And I'm not gonna put it all over my blending brush, I'm just gonna kind of focus that on one area. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it and then blend it. So I'm gonna place that towards my lash line and a little bit on my V, or on the outer corner. Perfect. And it's okay if it gets a little crazy on the outside because we're gonna clean that up with concealer. So I decided I'm gonna bring that brown just a little bit more on my top of my lash line. because so I'm gonna smoke it out just slightly on the outer outer corner. And I'm gonna grab the just a little bit of the black. Working with blacks is very scary because it's so pigmented and fallout is so hard to get rid of. So I'm just gonna lightly pack that onto my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna place and then blend. I'm gonna focus this on my lash line because this is almost gonna act as like my eyeliner too. Because I don't normally wear too much eyeliner on the top. It took me so long to try out darker shades because I felt like they were so hard to blend out. And if anybody feels like it's impossible it's not, I can tell you that right now. It just practice really, really makes perfect. All right. I'm gonna pack on the lighter shade that we use to set our base. And I'm just gonna almost like highlight just the inner, my inner corners. We have a lot of shadow that's in, in this area, so highlighting that a little bit will take that away. And I'm also gonna use that as my brow highlight, and this will also help me kind of blend out any harsh lines that I may have from that, from the transition shade. And that's it, that was, it's so easy. It was only with this palette. So I'm gonna go back in with the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. 
If you feel like your concealer that you're using is a little too heavy, you can also put the smallest of drop of the enhancer to kind of loosen it up a little bit. I also like the reflex of, you know, the, the shimmer in it because in pictures, when you take a picture, <laughs> it kind of diffuses any of the dark, dark circles that you have. Feel free to pinch your beauty blender a little bit to kind of shape that outer shadow, kind of get that cat eye look. Also use the the bum of the the beauty blender to soften out any of the harsh lines. I am going to do one last little spray of the Hydra Enhancer. Who am I kidding? It's not the last spray. I'm probably gonna spray it two more times. Okay. I love how the mist is super fine and it flares out a little bit. It's not like straight to the face. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for just a second. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna use the Benefit Their Real. All right. Perfect. All right. Now to set my face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm not much of a, of a baker under my eyes because like I said, I have fine lines and a little bit of texture under there so I don't wanna pack on so much because it just brings it out a little bit. Same thing with powder, you don't wanna pack on so much and try and take that away because that's <laughs> it's a lot harder. Like I said before, you don't need too much powder over this foundation because it dries um, like that, that micro silk finish. It's just really smooth and it leaves it already kind of powdered. I'm just going to kind of use whatever excess I have. To warm up my face a little bit, I'm going to be using the LC Bronzer in Light. I'm going to grab a fluffier angled brush. Beautiful. Same thing, I'm going to place and then blend. I'm gonna a little bit around my temple area. I'm not a huge nose contourer, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit that I have left over on my brush. I'm gonna squeeze my blush brush or my angled brush. I'm gonna use the shade medium. This time I'm gonna pinch the hairs a little bit. I'm gonna focus this from the top of my ear to the corner of my eye. If you bring it, oh, the corner of my eye over here. If you bring it too far over, your face kind of droops down and we wanna lift everything. So I'm gonna put that right in the hollows of my cheeks. Also, I'm a big fan of doing this. So the last part of the eyes before we move on to the lips really quick, I am, oh, not, oh, yes, I do have it. I'm gonna grab a smaller detailed brush. This one is the Luxie Mini Round 141. And I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line, but since the top is already so smoky, I'm not gonna apply any of the black down below because actually I have a little bit on there. I am going to use the warmer orange shade over here. Place that as close to my lash line as possible without getting into my waterline. Because nothing is worse than getting eyeshadow in your eye. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of that darker brown. I'm gonna focus this on the lower outer V to help blend, tie these colors together. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of my mascara and just coat 
my lower lash line or my lower lashes. So I'm gonna be using my holy grail, the Fenty Beauty. This is their Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. It's so many words. And it's in Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. I'm gonna use Lightning Dust first. Lightning Dust is the more subtle, subtle <laughs> highlight. I've been into that brow highlight a little bit. I could highlight my entire face for days and be totally content. Now I'm gonna use Fire Crystal right over top. Oh, beautiful. All right, now I feel, feel complete. All right, now that we are pretty much done with the face, I'm gonna spray this baby one more time. Now, last but not least, we are gonna do lips. So for my lips, I'm gonna go super dark because it's fall and it's Halloween time and it's so exciting. And this is Chocolate Wasted. With liquid lipsticks, I always start from the outer corner and work my way in. All right, I think that completes everything. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. I had so much fun creating this with you guys. I hope you learned something along the way. Huge thank you to Elsie Cosmetics for having me here. I had a blast and all these products are so amazing. Everything will be listed down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.